now to what could be a medical breakthrough for the first time in more than 20 years of trials. Scientists say they have finally come up with a vaccine that offers some protection from AIDS. Our senior health and medical editor, Dr. Richard Besser, is here with more. This is so promising. M many scientists thought that they would never have something like this. So tell us about this study in Thailand. That's right, Robin. For the first time, we have a vaccine that is showing some effect. There have been other vaccine trials uh, around the world. Mm -hmm. This vaccine has shown that you can reduce HIV infection by 31 uh, percent. That's very encouraging. It's the largest trial ever done. There were 16,000 volunteers in, in Thailand who, who participated in this. Um, and every day around the world, 7,500 people mm. get HIV infection. You say AIDS vaccine and going through some people's mind, okay, can you get HIV from the vaccine? The answer is no, you can't. There are different types of vaccines. This vaccine has no live HIV virus or particles, so it's safe. What they did was they took two vaccines that had been tested before that didn't work and found that when they combined them as a one-two punch, they reduced HIV infection. So separately, they didn't really do so much, but put them together and they were effective. That's right. We have a very complex immune system and what they did was they went after this infection by two different routes and found that going after it one way alone didn't work but putting them together was effective. But this was against a strain that is normally seen in Thailand. So what about other strains here in the U.S. and elsewhere around the world? Well, th that's a, an important area for further research. The, the approach is promising, and what scientists will do now is see, does it work against strains in other parts of the world? Does it work for all people? Uh, and do you need booster doses over time? So it gives them an area to approach for a hopefully more effective vaccine. 31% is encouraging, but vaccines in this country, you try and get them up above 75%. Right, as you said, very encouraging and very promising, and maybe redirecting the, this field. Now. That's right. Re-energizing it for sure. For sure. All right, Dr. Besser, thank you very much.